this is a book um, about stories, um, not just um, about records and statistics and, and, uh, and things like that. I wanted to bring out these personal stories and hopefully um, that's what I've been able to do. There's a wonderful player named um, uh, Will Robinson. was a very popular player on campus. Uh, the students um, really took a liking to him and the teammates, but he was very gullible. And there was a game down in, um, over in Arlington, Virginia, uh, playing against George Washington. And um, it was a tight game, a close ball game, coming down to the end. And um, uh, the coach at the time, Sonny Moran, ins instructed the team to um, run down the clock. And when there was just a few seconds left on the clock, he wanted Will to take the last shot. He was the best player on the team, best chance of making the shot. The game was tied. So as Will is maneuvering and getting into place to um, shoot the game-winning shot, you heard the crowd begin to count down, 10, 9, 8, and so forth, all the way down. Well, Will got excited and turned around and shot the ball. When it, it turned out there was still 10, 15 seconds left on the clock. George Washington gets the rebound. They call timeout, and so they have an opportunity to win the game. So the team comes off the floor, and um, Sonny looks at Will, and he says, what are you doing? I told you to, to run the clock down and shoot it at the end of the, and, and try to win the game, not with that much time left on the clock. And Will said, well, I heard the crowd uh, chanting, and I, I thought they were telling the truth. And Will's teammate, Dick Simons, uh, from Toronto, Ohio, came up behind and said, Will, this is Washington, D.C. Nobody tells the truth here. Uh, my name is John Antonick. I'm the author of a new book, um, Roll Out the Carpet, 101 Seasons of Western University Basketball, which will be out this fall, uh, published by WU Press. Um, it is a detailed history of Western University basketball. It contains uh, more than 500 uh, never-before-published photos. Um, had an opportunity uh, to talk to more than 50 uh, former players, administrators, um, coaches uh, involved with the book, researched um, quite a bit uh, from our athletic archives, um, news clips, uh, different materials that I was able to uncover. So hopefully um, this will be a, an interesting book uh, for anyone. Uh, my interest in um, the history of basketball actually um, began back in 2004. Um, a player named Ron Williams had just died and um, we got a telephone call in the office one late March afternoon from one of his teammates and he began to uh, tell a little bit about Ron so I decided to turn that into a um, a eulogy of a great player and a, um, a wonderful human being. But as I began to talk to this gentleman um, and I talked to his, some of his other teammates, I began to learn a little bit more about Ron Williams. Not just that he was a great player, but he was also the first African American player to play at Western University. And they were responsible for integrating the Southern Conference. Um, so I got an education uh, uh, about not only uh, the history of basketball, but um, some of the undercurrents, some of the things that were, that were going on in the program at the time. And from that point, um, my interest in basketball just grew. This book is a book um, uh, that will interest any college basketball fan, uh, young or old, um, male or female. I think it's, a, again, a book of stories. Um, I try to weave in um, and not only um, stories about the basketball team in, in the different seasons, but also um, some history of the state, uh, some history of some of the things that were um, going on behind the scenes. Again, my name is John Antonic, I'm the author of the new book, Roll Out the Carpet, 101 Seasons of Western University Basketball. Um, it'll be available in bookstores everywhere uh, in September of 2010.